Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we have a haul from Anthropology. So Anthropology, if you aren't aware, is a higher price kind of aspirational retailer. They have stores throughout the US, but up until 2019, like March 2019, they only had straight sizes, which would be like double zero to 14 petite, double zero to 16 straight sizes. And then in 2019, they launched their A plus collection, which is the plus size collection. Unfortunately, the plus collection is only in about 10 stores, like tangible stores, but you can find everything online. And anthropology in general is such a curated kind of global aesthetic that you walk in, you feel very creative, you feel very like artistic. It's definitely aspirational in that way. The fabrics are usually really beautiful. The prints and artwork are stunning. They usually have touches of like embroidery or beading or wash effects. So a lot of beautiful things, but just keep in mind the price points are a little bit higher because you are getting these kind of one of a kind aesthetic vibes within their collections. In addition to clothing, they also do kids wear, they do home goods, they have athletic wear that they just launched. So. A lot of really great pieces for your lifestyle needs. Even though their plus collections are only offered in a limited number of stores, I would say if you're ever in a store, ask if they have any returns that are plus because there's a good chance that there'll be a few pieces that people return that you can look through and see like, is there anything in my size that I could at least gauge the fit of things before I order? And then something really great that the company's done is for the plus customer in general, they have free returns. So you don't have to worry about paying shipping to return items. And like I said, this is just for the plus guest. So really amazing, really great anthro for thinking about us in that way. If we can't be in store, at least we can shop and try things on without having to be charged to do so. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I'm pretty straight from the front, but curvy from the side. So like a curvy rectangle. And if we're looking at their size chart, I land right around that size 24 in the 3X. So first up, I am wearing the Renika Maxi Dress. It is in the color blue motif. I'm wearing a 3X, it's 100% cotton, and it was $178. So we're seeing a lot of trend with these plunging necklines that go down to the waistband. And a couple things about this for me, the bust is a little bit larger than my bust. So somebody with a larger bust could easily fit into this. Um, but because of that, I'm finding that the facing is kind of flipping out a little bit. Um, and then you can also see a little bit of my bra band. So. I mean, I guess if I were to wear this one, I might get those like kind of sticky bras and then go without a bra in general. I do appreciate that they are trying these trends for plus women though, and not just like making us be hidden and conserved. So I do give them props for going full force into these trends for plus as well. This has a full button front. It is functional, so it can open a little bit more if you want to show like a little bit of leg. It's about a midi length. There are pockets, which is always amazing. And then there's this wide band underneath that actually shapes under the bust. And then around the back, there's like elastic, so there is a little bit of ease and movement. There are beautiful little pin tucks at the neckline here. And then the sleeve has smocking. So it's really comfortable. And then this just kind of fuller puff sleeve. The print is really pretty blues, creams, yellows type of floral. And there's a lot of great movement and ease in the hip and the waist. So it's not too tight or anything at all. I am kind of at the bottom end of the 3X. So, I mean, my, my bust is definitely a 2X. So I'm kind of in between. Um, like I do find that like it's 
comfortable, but I wouldn't mind maybe this back waist being a little bit more fitted for my needs. So just note that you might have to play around a little bit with sizes. So next up is the Pilcro Wanderer Relaxed Jean. Here is the side and the back. I'm wearing a size 24W. The wash is called Dark Denim. It is a cotton poly elastane blend and it was $138. So these are super comfortable. They've got a nice high rise. They are a more relaxed kind of boyfriend fit. And then the cuff did come double rolled, but it is able to be unrolled if you decide that. It is kind of a shorter length, which I love. If you have longer legs, it might be kind of a weird spot for you, but perfect for my body. There are pork chop pockets at the, the hip here, um, so they are functional. You can use them. And then there also is like this little patch detail happening on the knee, which I've been seeing popping up um, at a few brands. The wash has this kind of patina, dirty <laughs> quality to it that makes you think that you know somebody was like working hard to earn this destruction and distressing i don't know if i love the whiskering it is a little bit kind of crazy um, but there are also a little bit of destruction holes on the body as well there are pockets in the back that are functional and then there are also darts there which actually give it a really nice fit there is just a little bit of stretch um, but with how relaxed the body is, I don't need a lot of it, so it's pretty comfortable. All in all, super cute jeans if you're looking to run errands or do chores around the house or even just kind of have this like kind of relaxed, cool girl vintage type of vibe. And then paired back to the jeans, I'm wearing this Maeve bow tie tank top. This is in the color Kelly. I'm wearing a 3X and it is a cotton span and it is $58. So the fabric on here is a rib and it's actually a pretty dense kind of hold you in type of rib. The body itself is more of a form fitted body. Um, and then the length is a little bit shorter I'd say. It's kind of high hip, but I don't necessarily mind it. I feel like you could still tuck it in if you wanted, do kind of like a little French tuck or wear it out. It's definitely not covering the full tummy or the butt, so just note that, but it is really cute. I love the deep V in the front. I love that there's also a V in the back neckline. And then this color is so stunning. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this Kelly green. And then in a contrast fabric, it's actually a woven cotton. There's this bow tie detail and there is like a real strap underneath it. So it's not like the tie is the only thing holding this top up. Um, it's really just like a detail on there. So really cute, pretty. It's like perfect for high summer and uh, it just gives me like tropical vacation vibes. So similar to the last one, this is also by the brand Maeve and it actually uses the same fabrics. So the same kind of rib here, the same contrast cotton for the ruffle detail. So this is the Maeve Tina Ruffled Tank. This is in a size 2X in the color raspberry. It is cotton elastane and it's $78. So, I mean, I love these little easy bodies with like a fashion hit. So I'm already on board for this. And then the color is so rich and vibrant, which is fun. Same thing as before, the fabric kind of holds you in, which is really great. And then this is a size smaller than the previous one I tried on. I think they were probably sold out of 3X. Um, and then I actually have my heart set on like a cream color one, which I think they just have in stock again. So I'm gonna rush out and get that one for sure. The length, once again, is kind of short, like a higher hip. Um, and then this ruffle is really beautiful. So you get this deep V-neck with this fun ruffle and if you saw my j crew video which i'll link above here as well as down below i tried on a ruffle top there that was like too too much and i feel like this is like just enough too much if that makes sense so really loving this the ruffle does go all the way to the back ends in a v as well and yeah just all in all super cute 
Um, and just note, I did change my jeans because I felt, and these are my own jeans, but I felt like the other ones weren't doing this justice. So really cute to match back to shorts, to jeans, um, you know, skinnies. These are straight legs. Flares would be cute. So really versatile. Ooh, I wonder what it would be like under like overalls too. Something to think about. <laughs> This is the Charlize Eyelet Lace Blouse. I'm wearing a size 2X in the color Ivory. It's 100% cotton and it's $128. So this, I did intentionally size down because I did see that it was a little bit swingier and the 2X fits me perfectly. I definitely have enough room all the way around without it being like too oversized and shapeless. There is this really beautiful crochet piece at the neckline that actually goes all the way up and you can choose to tie it if you want up in a bow um, and then there are cords and little tassels or you can wear it open and a little bit easier. <clears throat> the crochet also extends to the little flutter on the sleeve which is pretty. And then the body itself is an eyelet fabric, so the little embroidered holes in there. And then you get that crochet lace at the bottom once again. There is a self lining underneath. It's a little bit shorter than the top and it is a little bit less swingy. Um, if you can see here, it doesn't really <laughs> wanna go below the booty. Um, so that might be kind of your only struggle if you're a little bit hippier. Overall, this blouse is really well made, a lot of really thoughtful details, and it kind of warrants the price for everything you get in here. Um, everything, like all the trims are soft and drapey, and it has just really stunning and really like summer feeling. When I first saw this one online, I was so obsessed with it. I love the idea of these kind of quilted, crafted jackets, and with cottage core kind of being like a theme for fashion right now, this one fit right in. It's like granny chic and I'm here for it. <laughs> so this is the quilted patchwork jacket. The color is called neutral motif. I'm wearing a size 3X. It's 100% cotton and it's $168. So the fabric is a nice, easy, gauzy cotton. There are different little stitchings of quilting on here. So it's like um, horizontal, I guess it would be horizontal this way. Horizontal stripes here, and then vertical stripes on the arm, vertical stripes on the body. There is a self tie that has trapunto stitching, which is like even dispersed rows of like stitching. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like kind of slim rows of stitching to kind of give a little bit of detail and dimension. And you can choose to wear it open or closed. It's a pretty relaxed body. Drop shoulders here, definitely a wide sleeve with like a dropped armhole. But the real hero of this piece are all these beautiful quilted patchwork pieces on here. So you get some on the sleeve, you get some on the shoulder. Same over here, sleeve and shoulder. And then there's some on the back all around the hem and then little hits also like here. So, oh, and also down here. So a lot of really beautiful crafted detail in this. I'm actually curious, like, I don't think they would have hand stitched this, but definitely a lot of work to put each one of these little ones on there. So actually <laughs> that 168 price tag seems a little bit extreme, but like for all the detail that's in this jacket, it's kind of a deal um, if you're asking me. There are pockets as well, which is great. I think that they placed the little belt loop ties a little bit low, because that's like not a good proportion for me. Um, so, I mean, that's easy enough. Just take it out and like tie it wherever the heck you want. But yeah, all in all, super beautiful. And then the fabric being cotton is easy enough to wear in warmer weather without feeling too hot but obviously like in the air conditioning you can layer this on to keep you a little bit less chilly so next up i'm wearing the mave puff sleeve mini dress this is in a size 3x in the color chartreuse 
It's 100% cotton and it was $148. So this is a little cutie. I love how playful and vibrant it is. It is a mini. Um, with that being said, I've seen shorter, so it's kind of one of those more modest minis. The fabric itself is a little dobby, so there's kind of like this little checker pattern within it, which is a nice little texture. I don't know if that'll show up for you. And then I love the vibrancy of this chartreuse and cream color floral print on here. The neckline is a square neck, so you get the elastic at the shoulders as well as the, the front of it. You can choose to wear it off the shoulder or on, and it does stay on really well. I think it's something to do with maybe a little bit narrower of a neck opening, which helps it out. I love this waistband detail here. It's smocked, but it's like variegated uh, widths of smocking, so some of them are wider, some of them are skinnier, and yeah, it's just a really pretty detail. The thing I'm uncertain about <laughs> is the back detailing, which you guys probably saw in my turn. It is open, so not only is your bra band visible, which I could live with, it's more about how low this dips and like, just I guess maybe more on me, you kind of can see a little bit of those rolls there. Um, I wouldn't mind if they, it was just a touch higher. So I think if they were to do it again, I would extend the width of this waistband all along the back so you get a little bit more coverage here and then just kind of maybe move this tie up just a touch and give just like the slightest little keyhole. I feel like it's more of like the idea and detail of the keyhole than actually having like the whole back exposed. I don't know, let me know below. Would you guys try or buy something that has this kind of open back detail to it. Beyond that, I love that this has pockets. Um, it's really swingy and easy, and there is a lining underneath it. Yeah, this one's really cute. I just need to figure out what to do with that back because uh, I feel like this is a perfect summer dress. Next up, I'm wearing the Elvira Maxi dress. Let me warn you, <laughs> the back is open. It also does not fit. I should have gone one size up. But let me do a spin for you. So here is the back. And then back to the front. Okay. I think this is a stunning dress. Like absolutely beautiful with all this embroidery and everything. Um, it is in the color neutral motif. I'm wearing a size 22. Should have gone to that 24. Um, and then it is 100% cotton and it was $268. So this one's definitely an investment, but that's because all of this is embroidered. You guys see how beautiful the embroidery is on the bodice as well as all down the skirt. And I would be want to say that maybe it's hand embroidered, but also for that price, I feel like they wouldn't be able to hand embroider. So it might be done by a machine, but either way, so stunning. The fabric is kind of like a cheesecloth, like so you get this little like grid in the fabric. I don't know if that'll show up. Hold on, let me, let me go underneath and see if that'll help. So it's like kind of a little square pattern on there. <laughs> but yeah, so the embroidery is stunning. Um, I don't know if I'm having fit issues because of the size up I should go, but I am finding that the apex, which is like kind of where your nipple should be, is super high and far out on here, so they're right here, um, where mine is like here, so <laughs> um, it's not sitting flat there either, but like I said, it might just be because the size is a little bit small for me. The straps crisscross in the back, and there are buttons down here, <clears throat> so you can adjust them, or, oh, actually, here are the buttons over here. That's kind of one of my grievances. I feel like the buttons should probably be like more here, um, which would kind of close that back up a little bit. And then right now I am wearing a strapless bra that I have pushed down all the way to my waist, but that is kind of causing this to occur, um, which isn't quite normally there. So if I were to wear it more at my natural back placement, it's a little bit smoother down here, um, but then you can see the bra, so. Once again, this one's tough. This might be worth trying little sticky bras 
Let me know, have you guys tried sticky bras and are there any that you recommend? It's not that I have the largest bust, but I definitely need some lift. So let me know if there's any that you recommend that would like provide a little bit of lift and hold and coverage in the right spots. <laughs> but you know, once again, the front is so stunning. Love this high neck here. It's like a little apron. You get this nice little flat waistband piece and just kind of, I mean, this feels like you should be like in a prairie running through flowers, which I adore. Um, I just, yeah, wish maybe the back wasn't as tricky or maybe a little bit more covered, but otherwise, oh, so stunning, so beautiful. Really like a one of a kind type of piece here. So these next pieces are probably my favorite from the whole haul. I feel like keeping these would probably put me in the category of bougie <laughs> because they're pajamas. But with that being said, I feel like they're so cute that you could easily wear them outside of just your bedroom and I intend to do that. So the top here is the Verona smocked tank. Here is the side and the back. And actually I have it tucked in right now because I liked showing just a little bit of sliver of skin, um, but it is, it's like a crop length that goes to the waist. And I'm wearing it in a 2X in the color cream. It's 100% Madal and it was $58. So this is an entirely smocked bodice. Um, it is super stretchy, can definitely accommodate sizes larger. Um, I could have sized down to a 1X probably. And it's got a tiny little ruffle at the bottom and then an even smaller one right at the edge up here. And then these straps, they're a contrast like uh, print, which is fun. And then there's elastic in there, which kind of creates this little ruffle detail as well. There's no adjusters on the straps, but the elastic kind of allows it to adjust to whatever you need it to do. And then it is just like an easy fitted body, but like I said, super comfortable, really cute. And then it's got matchback pajama pants, people. Oh my God, these are so cute. I think I love them because it makes me feel like I'm gonna be on like this nice, sunny, breezy vacation. Um, so I think even when I am stuck in the Midwest, I can have a vacation set of mind. So these pants are the Verona pajama trousers. Here is the side again, as well as the back. I'm wearing a size 3X in the bottoms in the color cream, once again, 100% modal, and these are $79. So these are really loose, easy, relaxed, almost like a harem pant in a way, where it has kind of like this dropped crotch detail. It's got elastic in the waist, and there are pockets, and then there are like, there's print mixing at the bottom where you can see like, there are two different prints here, but this bottom print actually looks like three different ones. It's just kind of, like a stripey pattern print. And then there is an elastic at the ankle as well. The elastic's a little big. Um, you know, I was trying to get it to kind of stay up at my calf a little bit and it keeps wanting to slide down. So it is a little bit generous. The other cute detail is it's got this little braided cord. And then these little like tassels made out of self fabric. I don't know if you can see them over all of the fabric here. But these are, let me untie it. These are super cute. It's like a little flower almost, you know? So pretty. So yeah, I'm obsessed. Um, I don't know if I said, but there's pockets in here. So uh, these are just, I love these. So while I was at it, I picked up another sleep item from Anthro. And just like the last one, this one easily can be worn outside. I would definitely not just limit it to the four walls of your bedroom. And this is called the Margot sleep dress. So here is the side, the back, and the front. Really beautiful dress. I'm wearing a size 2X in the color lilac. It's 100% modal, and it was $118. So this is like a little midi length that has a shark bite hem. There is print mixing. So most of the body has this kind of bandana floral print going on really cute in like blues and pinks. And then the hem itself has a ruffle 
that has this little kind of chartreuse -y, olive -y, um, and white abstract dot, which is super cute. I love this detail here under the bust, which has the smocking. It's like a wide piece of smocking that only goes from princess seam to princess seam. This really helps give some shape and structure without it being like too rigid or too fitted. So just kind of a nice detail to give a little bit of shaping. It's got a nice V-neck. I am finding that like the shoulder is a little bit wide. Um, I wouldn't mind this being maybe cut in just a little bit more, as well as the armhole is a little bit high as well. And then there is detail in the back. You get this deep kind of keyhole detail with the lace up. And then there's a little bead. Let me see if I can get this to the front. I don't know if I can. But there's this little cute bead detail at the end of the tie, which is fun. Um, and then also elastic at the bottom of the keyhole, which you don't really need, but I wonder if they added it there to just give kind of ease and movement. Really easy, breezy, fun dress. And I mean, great for slumber as well as being out in the sunshine. So next up I have the Daily Practice by Anthro Dolman Sleeve Maxi Dress. So here is the side and the back. So Daily Practice is their more athleisure athletic line. Um, this is really cute. I kind of am obsessed. It has this blue sun dolman detail at the upper body and then this flat elastic at the waist. And then below that, it's kind of more of a slim fit. And I would say it's more of a midi than a maxi, but then you get this really pretty curved hem up into a slit on the side. The neckline is more of like a wider kind of boat almost. And then the back is a V that has the strapping detail. I am obsessed with the color. This periwinkle, I'm just like living for it lately. And then the fabric itself is kind of like a dry, slinkier rib. Um, I wouldn't say it's as structured as the tops that I tried on. It's a little bit drapier than that. Um, but it is a variegated rib, which is nice. And it feels like perfect for spring, so it's not like too warm and fuzzy. Yeah, I really love this. I think you could dress it up with some heels, some booties, some sandals, or you can wear it with sneakers and run errands. So really versatile. I think there were a few colors online, but I love this one so much. So now I have on the Let Me Be Letizia Color Block Mini Dress. So here is the side and the back. I'm wearing a size 22 in the colorway pink combo and it's 100% cotton and it's $99.95. So I saw this dress worn by quite a few influencers when it first released and I was kind of torn on my thoughts about it. I think the idea is cute. I just feel like all of the seaming kind of cuts you off in weird ways. So like this seaming is like right over the fullest part of my bust. I do have to say that they have elastic here, which is nice so it doesn't feel like it's too fitted. Um, and then, yeah, I guess this seam, this seam, and this seam all have elastic, which is a nice element for like ease and movement. But I also feel like, and maybe it's more just my body, I don't get like a difference between like bust and waist in this dress. Um, maybe if I would have sized up one more, it would be a little bit different, but I don't know. This one just kind of makes me feel really like straight. I do think it's pretty with the color block detailing. Um, and I like that they were thoughtful about some of the construction. They do have little tie details um, at the shoulder, which this one also has some little color block detail on there as well, which is interesting. And then there is a little like trim along the edge, which is pretty. The trim is also along the top edge here as well. And then the back is just pretty easy, no additional details, just elastic at the top. And I would definitely not call this a mini, it's definitely more of a midi length, uh, about four inches past my knee. So not a mini at all. I don't know, what do you guys think about this one? I, I think I'm gonna have to pass on her.
So next up I'm wearing the polka dot maxi dress. Here is the front, the side, and surprise, surprise, the back is open again. <laughs> Apparently I really want this trend to work. I just need to figure out a way that it'll work for me. Um, but this is in a black and white, obviously. I'm wearing a size 3X. It's a cotton viscose poly and it was $168. So this is a really stunning type of statement dress that's in a really kind of classic print and pattern. The polka dots themselves are stitched on. I'm not quite sure if this is embroidery or what, but really beautiful, um, not just printed. Yeah, you know, it's definitely like, I think an embroidery, how they do that, which is really cool, really expensive. The neckline is a higher square, but it has this like facing around it. And then you get this really beautiful flutter sleeve. The bodice is just kind of clean and tailored. And then you get this um, flat band around the waist with some shearing below. It's a nice maxi length that has a good amount of fullness, not like super, super full, but like it's a nice amount of fullness. I wish there were pockets. Um, <laughs> and then the back, like I said, has an opening. It has this little tie here, which can help stabilize the shoulders and keep them in place. And then there is elastic back here as well, which is really nice and comfortable. This one does seem to have a higher placement, which is great. Um, with that being said, I feel like they probably still could have closed it up just a little bit. And then I am wearing a strapless bra that I just kind of pushed down, um, which obviously is not ideal, but that's what I have right now. <laughs> so yeah, really stunning and actually just kind of like a nice update to more of a classic silhouette, classic print and pattern. And I don't know, she's really pretty. What do you guys think? So last up I have on the Agatha lace mini dress. Here is the side and the back. I'm wearing a size 3X in the pink combo and it is a modal cotton blend and it was $168. So this is a fun little easy swingy dress right here. It's got this higher neckline with a little slit and then it has um, little tassels with a little bead detail here which is cute. You can choose to wear it open or closed. And then the sleeves are these really full, beautiful balloon sleeves. So once again, there is fabric that it connects to underneath and then the little elastic. So it always kind of keeps the shape and fullness. I do wish that maybe they were a little bit shorter. Um, right now, it's like, what are they? Are they long? Are they three quarter? <laughs> They're kind of like somewhere in between, um, but they are really comfortable and beautiful and full. It has lace detailing at the bodice here as well as at the waist and then it dips down into a V at the center front waist. The lace also continues all the way around the back too. The fit of the body is just easy and relaxed. And then the print is this really beautiful like tangerine, pale pink, brown and cream, almost like paisley print. It's really bohemian, really cute and really beautiful for like spring, summer, even fall to be honest. You could wear this with like booties and a little denim or leather jacket. You can take her definitely through many different seasons. All right guys, that wraps up our anthropology haul. Let me know down below what your favorite items were. I think mine were definitely the pajama set and ooh, I did like that lilac knit dress too. I don't know, there were a lot of goodies in there. So let me know which ones were your favorite down below. As always, thanks for stopping by and letting me play dress up with you. And please comment, like, share, subscribe, and come back for more. See you next time.